Hey, what's up my people? We'll see how long this light lasts. It's getting dark. I'm headed up to the jazz game. Um, got a little message that on my mind, this is something that I've been really focused on with my clients and hire on Fridays. So every Friday, <laughs> I don't know if my clients like it or not, but I like it. Um, I start off our Friday. We have a Friday accountability call where we talk about our wins for the week, something we wanted to be held accountable for, and um, Q&A. And I've been starting those calls off with music that brings happiness, that induces happiness. And I'm just, I'm on my way driving, I'm listening to my reggae and I'm just like jamming, you know, and I'm going to go up to the jazz game, have a great time. And I, I just, I don't think that when we talk about health, that we talk about proactively bringing happiness into our lives. And I'm going to use my son, Jerem, as an example. Sorry, Jerem, I hope you don't mind. He's 14. He's in eighth grade. When he started middle school last year, um, he was, you know, we had a lot of talks about like, that's a lot of social dynamics to manage for a kid, right? And we were talking about like making friends and people liking you and Jerem has a lot of friends, but I, I just kept telling him, I'm like, if you want friends, be a friend. If you want stuff to do, be proactive, be the person that plans it, invite people over, be that person. And I think sometimes as adults, we get a little complacent about bringing happiness into our life and building relationships. And there's so much responsibility in adulthood that if we just get stuck in that, and that's like all we do, we're just like taking care of everyone, taking care of work, like, you know, maybe our only sense of happiness is like watching something on Netflix, but there's not a lot of planning of like, what actually makes me happy? Like, do you even know? Have you identified the things that like, light you up in particular, right? Like for me, it's being in nature. I have noticed that I have a uh, stronger reaction, I'd say, than than some people in nature. I'm like, I freaking love this, getting up in the mountains, just being outside. I always have ever since I was a little girl, and that's a clue. It's like, what did you like when you were a kid? What did you like? What did you love doing? I loved shooting hoops out in my backyard. I loved playing in the woods. I loved organizing kickball games with all the kids in the neighborhood. I loved exploring, roller skating around my neighborhood. <laughs> you see a pattern here? Being active and being outside. So for me, the gym, one of the reasons it's easy, sorry, it's gonna get dark. One of the reasons it's easy for me to stay fit is because I like it. And I train in ways that I like. I like being active. It's fun. I like being outside. So what is that for you? What do you like doing? Make sure that you're proactively putting that into your life. Another thing is, how much are you laughing? You know the old adage that laughter is the best medicine? It really is. So invest in your friendships with people who you laugh a lot with. People you can be silly. People you can be a kid again with. This is part of health. It really is. If everything is a grind all the time, and hard and just work, work, work and responsibility, it is actually detrimental to your health. It's too much stress. It has to be balanced with some fun. You love shooting hoops too, healthy libertarian? Yeah, so so there's basketball hoops at, my, at most gyms. So sometimes I'm like, girl, you got five, 10 minutes to shoot around a little bit, bring some joy into your soul. You know, gosh, it will. if you liked that as a kid, go do it. You know, I love like messing around with Micah, my nine year old. He's getting into basketball and like all try dribbling and like putting it behind my back and feeling all cool. <laughs> it's fun. Um, so, like, what is fun for you? Make sure that you're bringing that in. And the other thing is music. I started talking about this, but it to me, music is one of the most powerful biohacks that we have available to us. We're all energy, frequency, and vibration, right? And so, those vibrations impact us. So, if you're listening to a lot of sad, depressing, hateful music, you're literally inducing yourself into a trance of sad and hateful. So think about that. I, listen, I love my, my ghetto rap sometimes too, but I listen to a lot of reggae because not only is that energy like love and chill and happy and cool, but they also sing about things that matter. They sing about love. They sing about relationships. They sing about listening to your soul and the universe being abundant and all of these things. And I want that energy. So I use that. I use that as a, you know, it pulls you into like a trance state. And most music I say, if it doesn't make me want to dance, I'm not interested. 
<laughs> I love dancing. I love, we dance, my kids and I, we go crazy in the car, we go crazy at home. And that is so good for us to just like let go. Like when is the last time you dance? I hope you dance dance around your house. One of my clients told me this morning, I was so happy. She's her win for the week was that she danced in the shower. And she's like, I haven't danced in a long time. I was like, you dance naked for your first time dancing. Yes. <laughs> so like proactively bringing things into our lives that aren't so serious. And, oh yeah. Mike love. Oh, let's be friends, girl. <laughs> Mike Love's music is so good. Listen to Permanent Holiday, especially if you're an anti-mandate, anti-government telling you what you should do when it's none of their business. If you're that kind of person, you will love Mike Love's song, Permanent Holiday. It is such a cool song. You will instantly become a Mike Love fan. Um, but yeah, reggae, if you guys want any suggestions, Aya Tara, Mike Love, The Movement. Um, gosh, I love Polynesian reggae. Uh, I used to be married to a Polynesian and that was a big part of my life for a long time. So I love all the J Boog and Common Kings. All of that music is so good. Um, so yeah, like proactively go hunt for things that bring you happiness besides just TV and movies. Okay. Other stuff like with people and like out and you're like moving and having fun, you know, branch out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, don't forget, like sometimes people get on health journeys and they're just like stressed out of their freaking minds and all it is is counting calories and gym workouts they hate and it's just hard, hard, hard. And it's like, no wonder you're not sticking with it. We are never gonna stick with something that we hate. So find ways to be active and find things you like to eat that, that bring you joy and make you happy, that you like and look forward to. Experiment. Ask people, ask for suggestions, ask your fit friends, like, what do you eat? What do you, what's your favorite stuff? You know, and they're going to tell you something very simple and practical that you're going to be like, mm, that sounds good. <laughs> um, all right. That's pretty much it. Just don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to laugh. It is, don't forget to dance. Don't forget to listen to music that brings you up. Don't forget to eat amazingly delicious, yummy food that nurtures your body, that you make your taste buds sing. You know, there has to be a happiness element. Don't forget to train in ways that you just think are fun. If you think Zumba, Zumba is fun because it is fun, go do Zumba. If you think doing high intensity interval training is fun, go do that. If you think li doing Olympic lifting sounds really fun, throwing a barbell over your head, go get into it. You know, do stuff that you love doing. It brings you happiness because when it's happy, you just want to keep doing it more and more and more. Yeah, you are so happy. I am so happy. And I think it's because I seek it, you know, I'm, I'm chasing that all the time. I love fun. I am heavily motivated by fun. <laughs> and so if it's fun, I go do it. What's up, Zach? What's up, little bro, bro? I'm sorry. I'll stop calling you little bro, bro. You're like a grown man, but you're still my little bro, bro. No, you aren't allowed any good food. Only broccoli and chicken. Yes, with only no fat on it. You don't need testosterone or cell membranes. <laughs> or mental health. <laughs> yeah, branch out, you know. It's so easy to eat healthy when you look forward like you don't want to eat anything else cuz you're like, "Oh, that's freaking bomb. I can't wait to eat that." <laughs> you know? And if you're not on the vegetable train, it's probably cuz you're not putting any fat on them. Try cooking up your vegetables and your leftover bacon grease next time. Go for it. Be wild. Add some butter in there and some Redmond seasonings. Whoa, it's getting real dark. Hi, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, find ways, like ask yourself, like, what do I like doing in the gym? Right? Some people are social people. I'm not a social worker outer. <laughs> um, I love to get my headphones on and get my pre-workout and just like, I'm creating, right? Like I'm going with the flow. I'm like, Ooh, that's going to be awesome. Cause those muscles oppose each other and that strength. And then, then I'm going to throw in a power exercise matched with that strength stimulus. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Like that's fun for me. Right? So what is fun for you? You know, chase that. Yukon, you don't like bacon? Well, um, I'm not a huge, huge bacon fan personally, but when you eat uh, animals that were raised right, like from Rep Provisions, it's different. Rep Provisions is regenerative agriculture. I have, I have been to their ranch and seen their pigs literally running around in grasses that are like taller than me foraging in the forest. Like it's amazing. They're very well cared for and that's how meat was supposed to be. So 
huge, huge fan of rep provisions. So yeah, I, I won't get on a tangent about rep provisions. I really want to. Please support regener regenerative agriculture. <laughs> It is so important. It's saving our planet. It's rebuilding the topsoil, all the health problems. Anyway, I won't get even if it's a local trip uh i look weird <laughs> right now, i don't feel like i look like myself um and um yeah go live go freaking live i say that all the time but it's like blah. you never know when it's gonna be over Go find some fun music. Go be a hunter of awesome music. Right? Dance around your kitchen. All right, that's all. All righty. Okay, thank you for being here, guys. Hope you guys have a fun weekend and plan one thing that brings you joy. Okay, see you guys. Bye.